Yo, what's up guys? It's Silver Little Wolf 69 and welcome to a new Ninjago video. Season 13 finished recently, so I thought it would be a good idea to update some of the rankings on the channel so I don't have to remake them so soon. Keep in mind, I don't have many Ninjago rankings right now, but I do plan to make many in the next month, so stay tuned for those videos. Anyways, let's start with ranking the seasons. Season 13 was really good. I love that Cole finally got the focus he deserved. As some people have said, the quality wasn't the best at the beginning, but compared to Season 12's slight drop of quality after its peak at Episode 12, Season 13's streak continued all the way to the end. The season also had a really good story quality. I loved how well the season developed Cole as a character. We got to learn about Lily and how she saved the Munts and the Geckles from Griefbringer. Overall, the season had the second best story post-movie. But in my opinion, it can't beat the quiet one plot twist from Season 8. Therefore, I think it deserves to be number 7 in ranking the seasons, in between Seasons 8 and 9. Second, and finally, let's do Ranking the Villains. This one is going to be more complicated because I made this ranking as a collab with Rayzone 11. Subscribe to his channel, by the way. I will honor my ranking with him and incorporate Vangelis into it. However, should school not prevent me from making videos and I am still a Ninjago YouTuber around seasons 14 and 15, which I hope I will, I love making videos, I will update that ranking based on my opinion only. Anyways, Vangelis was a great villain. I loved how he was able to divide the Munts and the Geckles and conquer the dungeons of Shintaro. Also, I liked how he impacted Vanya to accept his true colors and ultimately become the new ruler of Shintaro. Compared to other villains we have seen before, he got more screen time than, say, Unagami from last season. Vangelis was fleshed out from the beginning, while Unagami had very few episodes showcasing him. He was also a truly bad guy, so praise there! While I did praise Unagami for being a different antagonist, Vangelis is just better in every way. If there is anything I don't like about him though, it is that his motives are just to mine Venge Stone for a buyer, whom we never meet at all in the season. I didn't like this. In the end, Vangelis is a great villain, but his motives are not as good as the cruel Iron Baron who enslaved his dragon hunters like his peasants. I think Vangelis deserves to be number 8 in ranking the villains, in between Iron Baron and Unagami. So while this video was short, I plan to make a ton more ranking videos in the next month. Some you may have seen in other channels, others I think will be interesting and unique. Stay tuned for my final thoughts and season 13 episode ranking videos releasing tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching everyone, and I will see you in the next video. Peace!